With every new Windows OS, the system requirements go up and that's why Windows 11 requires more RAM and storage capacity compared to Windows 10 which is one of the main reasons why some are skeptical about using Windows 11 today. Despite offering fantastic RAM management, Windows 11 still requires you to have a minimum of 4 GB RAM to operate properly. And that's why 16 GB RAM is the new standard for most gaming PCs. But there is a workaround for reducing the RAM consumption significantly and possibly making Windows 11 work on a discrete GPU without the need for any storage drive. This is exactly what a developer achieved with his laptop which opens the door for running Windows 11 on systems with slow hardware. Let's see how Windows 11 can be run on your GPU. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss such interesting stories in the future. As illustrated by Antidave, a developer who is behind the creation of Tiny11 which is a stripped down Windows 11, the OS was able to run perfectly on the GPU VRAM. This was achieved by making a virtual drive through RTX 3050's VRAM with the help of a tool called GPU RAM Drive Utility. This utility can allocate a memory buffer inside the GPU VRAM and allows it to be used like a regular storage, which even though is slower than the blazing fast SSDs we have today, it is still much faster than a traditional hard drive. The developer's RTX 3050 only had 4 GB VRAM but was sufficient to create a 3550 MB of RAM drive that was able to run Tiny11 smoothly. Even the sequential read and write speeds of the new RAM drive was matching the entry-level M.2 SSDs. Of course, there are many challenges that one would have to face if he tries to run a full version of Windows 11 on GPU VRAM, one of which is the problem of permanent storage. Unlike a real storage drive, all the data on the VRAM is lost once the computer is switched off. Nonetheless, it looks totally possible to speed up the applications with the help of a powerful GPU that boasts faster and more VRAM size. And considering we are having GPUs with more than 8GB of memory, storing a full Windows 11 looks totally possible. And what is more possible is Intel beating AMD in its own APU game. Now there is no debate about AMD being superior in having significantly more powerful APUs that deliver performance as good as some of the best budget graphics cards. But looks like Intel is about to catch AMD very soon, thanks to Meteor Lake CPUs that are planned to launch at the end of this year. The original leak comes from Moore's Law is Dead which has got most of his leaks accurate and according to his sources, an AMD internal presentation shows that Meteor Lake laptops rated at 45 watts are closer to Phoenix laptops in performance that feature 6 WGPs based on RDNA 3 architecture and are rated at the same TDP. However, MLID says that as per the benchmarks he saw, the correct position of laptop Meteor Lake with an iGPU having 128 execution units is between Phoenix and Strix Point APUs. This makes it equivalent to a laptop GTX 1650 Ti that is already a decent budget GPU for 1080p gaming. What is more interesting is that as per Intel, the Meteor Lake laptops are going to offer almost double battery life compared to what it would feature with an equivalent powerful discrete GPU on a significantly higher TDP. So in a nutshell, not only AMD but Intel is also going to compete in the budget and mid-range gaming laptop market where they will no longer use discrete graphics cards as their iGPUs will be sufficient for gaming on a much lower power consumption. Meteor Lake is supposedly the first SoC chip from Intel that is going to feature 4 tiles above the base tie where the GPU die will be using the XELPG Alchemist architecture and it is already established from various reports that this lineup will most likely be launched for both laptop and desktop. And lastly, if you are using an MSI product, particularly their laptops, then you should be cautious because hackers are leaking Intel boot guard keys they acquired from the hack last month. According to the reports, more than 100 MSI products are affected by this and the list contains almost all kinds of laptop series from MSI. Last month when the hackers attacked a part of MSI's information systems, they acquired a framework for developing BIOS and many private keys too. In return, the group demanded $4 million to not post these details online. But as MSI refused to pay, the hacker group started posting the leaked data online. MSI said that customers using their products should update their BIOS only from the MSI's official website because firmware from any other place might contain malicious codes that can compromise the data security of users. Therefore, if you are a user of any of the products listed on the GitHub page, it is advised that you only update your BIOS from the MSI's official website. Furthermore, keep your guard up all the time and wait till the security experts investigate the issue to find a possible solution to this. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe if you don't want to miss any such updates in the future. Make sure to turn on the notifications to get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you in the next one.